Welcome to the face to face series by Uni Apply. I'm Ash Babel. Here we have a detailed discussion with school leaders to know more about the school and this helps parents to make a defined decision. Today we have Dr. Rupali Rimdhere, principal of Trinity International School to give us more detail about it. Ma'am, we would like to know about the vision and mission of Trinity International School. Uh, Trinity International School uh... Uh, works on the unique vision and mission where we look uh, keep the child as the center of the whole system and mm -hmm. the way we function as uh, looking at the infra and uh, looking at the facilities that we can provide looking at the development that we can provide to a child providing the uh, best facilities for sports providing the best facilities as far as infra is concerned providing best learning opportunities to the child so this is what uh, the vision and mission of Trinity International School is. Okay. And ma'am, what are those parameters or what are those special things that is making Trinity International School different from other schools in the vicinity? Uh, Trinity International School follows the policy of no child left behind. Okay. Wherein every child gets an opportunity in whatever is happening in the school. Mm -hmm. Yes, there may be shortlisting, there may be, uh, you know, children who go to the next level and things like that. But every child gets an opportunity. Uh, through this, what happens is today, uh, children uh, at, at times are confused where they really don't know whether I am good at a particular thing or whether I... I can do this or not do this. Mm -hmm. So while doing these activities, it may be dance, it may be a special assembly where they're just talking uh, to someone, it may be a small narrative, it may be a role play in the classroom. So every child is given a chance to do whatever they're doing. So then they realize their potential and they can you know, uh, strive more and work harder towards developing that uh, quality that they have. And ma'am, I would also like to know more about uh, how as a school we approach to what holistic development of a child? Today education is not about uh, just academics. Mm -hmm. It is uh, more than academics. Uh, today they say it's not just books that uh, you know makes you wiser. The more you are uh, moving out and the more you are interacting, the more exposure that you have actually makes you a better person. So looking at that, uh, education has to be a 360 degree uh, kind of uh, you know development for the child where everything is taken into consideration mm -hmm. right from value system to uh, how to develop the confidence of the child to uh, you know even learning uh, music mm -hmm. and uh, uh, having sports as an integral part of the curriculum. So all these things are important uh, for a child today. And when we are looking at uh, developing children as they are the future of, mm -hmm. of the country and uh, India being a very potential and a very young uh, country as they say because we have the youngest, uh, you know, the population uh, that is uh, really young here. So it's a rich resource and I feel responsible to add to that resource if I'm a part of the journey. Mm -hmm. So there should be this uh, 360 uh, degree development in their lives. Ma'am, how did school adapted the technology during the tough COVID times when the world was uh, on a shift, when everything was going online? So how did the school adapted it? Uh, the pandemic actually came in all of a sudden. Uh, though we all were aware that things like this, it's coming up and all that. But it was uh, a shock. It was something new that suddenly happened and the entire world uh, suddenly shut down so but learning cannot stop and we being social uh, beings you know we still need to connect though we were forced uh, maybe uh, to be indoors but that's still that urge to connect and uh, to learn never stop so uh, first we started with what we had in hand was your whatsapp Hmm. So quickly getting children and the parents class wise on the WhatsApp group is what we did first and then uh, you know started uh, sharing a few things about tips and how to uh, you know balance yourself even during these times not to panic what to talk to children about. So these were the things that we were promoting initially mm -hmm. and slowly we did a lot of trainings for our staff and uh, the tools and the things that could be used. Uh, we uh, enhanced our uh, ERP uh, system as in uh, so that the uh, teachers could uh, you know take the classes 
uh, from home then a lot of trainings to uh, use the different tools that are available through various platforms be it zoom be it uh, google meet and you know microsoft teams so we try to understand the different tools so that the child because now the teacher had reached the living room and the child was looking at the teacher in a box so the teacher uh, uh, you know was still getting used to not looking at the child in front of her all her life the teacher has seen the child right in front and suddenly uh, the choice uh, the choice remains with the child whether the child wants to be seen or does not want to be seen and teaching uh, looking at a blank screen was very difficult so uh, when when the cameras are switched off and you're talking uh, you don't get the response and the teachers are so quick and so used to because when they are in a classroom looking at the children's faces they know that this child has understood today this child is lost this child is completely uh, got it today this one is not interested but when i am having those blank boxes i don't know what is happening behind those boxes so the 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 uh, you know anxiety of the teachers was also increasing where day in and day out they used to come to me and say that how do you handle this because i really don't know what i am doing because i am not getting the kind of feedback i i am not knowing whether my lesson that i have taught has really reached them whether they have understood i really don't know so you know pacifying the teachers also at that level training the students also as to how uh, you know the camera etiquettes also now we have to right. teach them as in how they need to be present and how they need to have the camera switched on so yes yeah, slowly and gradually through uh, you know learning and learning we had to learn all these tricks and uh, we sailed through and we developed a good system wherein uh, the children could uh, mark their attendance as soon as they enter the class so it became easy for the teacher we had them slowly switching on their cameras and being there our assessment patterns we designed in a very uh, good manner wherein we had them switch uh, with uh, with the camera switched on and there was an invigilator also like there is an invigilator here so that uh, you know we try to control the <laughs> them opening other windows and and looking Proctoring, at uh, yeah. <laughs> yes so that also was done yes it was uh, uh, i would say anything that comes by uh, should be taken as an opportunity Correct. and we took this also as an opportunity without uh, getting the negative feeling without uh, feeling uh, low and down with the whole thing we try to spring back and along with that we also try to do a lot of podcast series we try to do a lot of well-being series we try to do a lot of yoga and other activities for the students and right from the grandparents at home we started having evenings for the grandparents and the parents were in you know uh, we had people performing and things like that so so you know it kind of got us a little more closer right. uh, and the close knit uh, thing because all we had to do is sit at home and switch on our camera so the traveling was uh, taken away so then this is how we tried to connect and we still came closer as a big family ma'am uh, in context of technology as we were talking did you saw any shift in admission process also of the school as we had to shift online for everything of course the admission process also shifted online and uh, we uh, started looking at uh, parents uh, connecting uh, us uh, online and you know uh, looking at the school and things also and we also uh, there are these uh, new uh, portals that have come up like yourself uni apply who came up and uh, with very uh, unique ways they helped us in uh, connecting with the parents in sorting uh, helping the parents select schools and uh, you know they helped us to make our job also easier and the parents also got their queries sorted at the first level and of course the uh, queries later on uh, we were there to help them out in so, uh, the other ways yeah, as well we are, we are really happy that uh, we were able to help you in that and yes there is a shift in techno in all the processes in when we see in covid times we have seen like there was a shift Yes. So thank you so much ma'am for joining us today. It was indeed a wonderful experience and a wonderful talk. I hope that this will be helpful for the parents and will give more insights about the school. Thank you so much and uh, I am really thankful to Uni Apply because the way they connect and uh, they try to uh, give the first hand information to the parents because it actually eases out the parents queries a lot at that time and uh, then uh, they get that confidence to come to the school and actually 
visit the school and it helps the school as well in in return thank you so much thank, thank you ma'am you.